What it is, you guys, it's your girl Cadillac. I am the OG prison wife. I'm also the draw my life prison wife, been a prison wife for the last 20 plus years. So, girl, I just got it was crazy. I I don't know how I even came across this, but I was searching through YouTube. Oh, my little juju. He said he wanted to hear one of my songs. So I played him one of my songs when I was out. My biggest hit, Neck Bones and Collard Greens. And then it made me think about what's this other song. It was this real good song that I did. Um, and I went to searching for it on YouTube. Baby, it was hard. It's like I had to dig through them crates, girl. <laughs> but I found it. Okay, so before I play the song, let me um, tell you a little bit about the background of it. Okay, so there was this dude named RDG. RDG? Yeah, it was. Okay, so he was at everything you would see, like music conferences. Um, we would have networking events. We, th that's how it was back there. When you were grinding, you was out there um, trying to become a rapper. I was basically about the only freaking female rapper out there at the time, like from 2006 to 2007. There were no other females out here trying to rap in Florida. Like you had Trina who was already famous, but you none of them other girls was out there like that. And so I felt like it was a void. It was a, a, a entryway for your girl Cadillac and your girl was really good at it. Okay, so I had seen so many people like, but I was RDG, I'm sorry. I would see him at every event. That's also how um, I ended up um, networking with T-Rex. Y'all know T-Rex. I done showed y'all his artwork and this and that. But um, yeah, I would see him as well at every single thing. Like I was the only female really out there doing it at that time in Orlando. And so a lot of males, they wanted like a female voice. They wanted a female rapper, but see, females weren't out there rapping like that. So your girl was getting on everybody's song. So I think, I really don't know how this collab happened, but they wanted me to be on one of their songs. They wanted a song with a female rapper. Okay, so your girl, when you give your girl a shot, you tell me what the song about, baby. What's the, what's the concept of the song? Let me hear the beat and then I get to write it. Yes, get to write it. <laughs> okay, so when I would go in the studio, now y'all know, this is why it's related to prison wife life, okay? So y'all already know the story of meeting like Jennings. Before I met him, I dreamed I met him in the dream. We made songs together. He was like, oh, you're so talented. Let's make songs. I got money and recognition and got my husband's story broken way back then, not 20 years later. And he was home. We were a family again and we lived our, our, our life happily ever after. After. that's like a fairy tale right that ain't how it turned out in real life i did meet life jennings um i got to give him some of my artwork i got to do a poem called 1020 life one of the horrible sentencing statues that is here in florida that got a lot of people locked up around the time that my husband marcello was wrongfully convicted they was promoting this like it was nothing big huge billboards 1020 life use a weapon in a in a in a crime um if you just have it on you 10 years if you pull it 20 years and if it's like fired or somebody is hurt then it is life 10 20 life and they was serious about that thing they was even convicting folks that wasn't even under 10 20 like because marcello shouldn't even be under 10 20 like it has to have a weapon they recovered no weapon in Marcello's case, but yet because they wanted to sentence him under 1020 life, they just said there was a weapon present. You have no weapon, no fingerprints, no DNA, no GSR. You got nothing. But yet my husband's still in prison. <laughs> So to tell his story, I decided that, you know, to go back to the dream that maybe it wasn't like Jenny's because dreams are not always who you dream of. It could be a different person. So I was like, well, maybe it's not like Jenny's. Maybe it's someone else. So I went to meeting whoever, like everybody, everybody you could think of. Tom Joyner, Steve Harvey, um, Tamar Braxton. I just put that out. Y'all love that video. Um, Anthony Hamilton, he'll be coming soon. Um, Throwback Thursday. I hope to do that this throwback thursday of meeting anthony hamilton uh life jennings r&b singer 
with Joe, uh, Robin Thicke. I can go on and on and on and on. T.I. Like, girl, I done met so many goddamn people. Ashanti and Ja Rule. Like, for real. Giving all these people my artwork with my husband's story. But anyway, so I was going to make it as a singer. No, actually, I'm not a singer. I was going to be a songwriter. I just wanted to be a songwriter, but I cannot sing whatsoever. So I went searching and searching and searching for singers because when you want to be a songwriter, somebody has to demo your song, demo your songs. I never found anybody serious enough to do it. Your girl was serious as a heart attack, but I couldn't find nobody that was taking it serious like me. Um, my cuz did sing a few verses and stuff like that, but it, it kind of, it, it just wasn't working like that. So what I ended up doing was saying, hey, let me see if I can rap my lyrics. Your girl started out rough with a desktop mic. This little tiny little desktop mic that you plug into your computer as a sound recorder. Girl, I started with that and I recorded on voice memo and we recorded a little demo we we bumped it down burned the cd and we were so excited we got life jenny's little album on the back of the album cover had his actual real production um joy bounds had his manager joy bounds we hit her up she told us to overnight the stuff to her girl it was crazy um i went to one of the famous people back then okay so our music industry basically if you wanted to make it in those 2000s you had either two ways to go through the djs that are at it was 102 jams at the time power 95.3 i don't i think they had just came out but they weren't as re relevant as 102 jams all those djs at 102 jams were like top 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 like you couldn't even hardly get in touch with them at all like they were the ones that were going to be some of them were on um 106 at park and stuff like that so they were like celebs like they too good for you girl <laughs> some of them were really nice though but a lot of them were too you know those were the artists that they would promote that were actually about to be the next on 106 at park okay and then you had the underground the underground dog man entertainment yes dog man came through with red dog and white dog and yes <laughs> it was some everybody came through dog man that was with the hood and this and this and that so those were your two avenues that you the two clicks you had to get in touch with to have a shot in jail to make it as a rapper okay so Remember, it is 2005, 2006. Florida is a desert. Orlando definitely is a desert. The only thing that was popping, baby, was Miami with Trick and, Tr and Trina. That's a tongue twister, Trick and Trina. <laughs> Say that 10 times together. You know, Trick and Trina, Trick and Trina. I'm saying chicken trina. <laughs> you can't even say it like that. Oh yeah, I'm, I got to do a Project Reach the World story time about how we met Miss Trina as well. Young Jock. I can go on and on, girl. But yeah, so needless to say, this was a desert. There really wasn't a way to make it off of, you know, from here. So I seen this Ozone magazine. It was a um, new magazine that came out with TJ Chapman. He um, is the one that brought um, rapper B.O.B. to the forefront with Jim Johnson, producer Jim Johnson. But Jim Johnson was out of Miami. Yes, with Rebel Rock. I got in touch with him, too. He asked me to draw all his artists. Girl, I done did some things. <laughs> some things. So I would, I could not wait. Oh, and there was another one. It was Mercedes Streets. She was like the promo. And then... Um, Julia, I can't remember her last name. She was like the head of the magazine. And um, I went back and um, learned her story. She was a graphic designer, just like your girl. Maybe I can get my little prison wife magazine moving just like they did. They got their stuff up in the 7-Elevens. And religiously, I worked at the Walmart across the street overnight shift writing my little rhymes while i was door greeting at the door performing them i would have my juju okay hold on guys
So yeah, while I would have my breaks at Walmart, girl, on, I would run across the street and try to find the latest edition of Ozone Magazine. I would flip through the pages. I would look at everybody who's who. So anyways, I would just read and see who is this person? Who is that person? I would research everybody that was in that whole magazine. And I remember one day, I didn't know where to record, but I seen an ad with Mo Music. Red Dog and Mo Music that was in there. I was like, yes, girl, I got to call them. I want to record in a real studio. This was the best studio I recorded in Yes, this is where I recorded, um, it was a song called Up in the Club with me and, and my cousins. We were called Cousins in Crime. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I bought a block of studio time and girl, that was where I the magic just came about. Um, when I first went in the studio, that I was still, I was rapping like um, I had one. Juju, hold on. I had one called uh, I'm in Love with a Thug. Then I had one. Um, that I did that to Nas's one mic. All I need is one mic. Yes. And I had some other ones. Oh, I had one called Grandmama. So it was like I was just writing about my life, my life struggle, the things that went on and stuff like that. And I didn't get a reaction until my last hour block when I recorded that up in the club. At that point, Red Dog was like, dang, like he was j vibing with us and stuff. And that's when I knew I had the formula. I had, I, I got a reaction. Because before, when I would ask people how was my music, they'd be like, oh. Um. They wouldn't say nothing. And I guess they just wanted to spare my feelings. But baby, when I got that reaction, I knew. I knew I had the formula. So anyways, back to RDG. I was at a networking event and I was the girl then. I was the girl. Let's, everybody want a Cadillac on their track. Cadillac. Cadillac. The Cadillac. So much booty in the back. Cadillac. Wow, everybody wanted Cadillac on day track. So I was asked by RDG to let's do a, a collab. He had a group called the Hit Makers. It was several guys and they was like, okay, now they were schooling me. I had to go down to Daytona. We drove to Daytona to record there in that studio. So I get to the studio. Baby, you know I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. When I used to uh, record in the studio, baby, it was I was a one take. I didn't mess up. I wouldn't punch me in. None of that. None of that. I recorded my first. I recorded the second layer. I recorded ad-libs. Well, I didn't like ad-libs at first, but I kind of got them a little bit later. And then I was out. I was out like for real I wasn't playing in no studio time is money and I'm trying to get my man's home so they up there are schooling me and there's like yeah now I it was this one guy named Trace he was with the hit makers and he made this comment he was like you're pretty good for a girl you're a good rapper for a girl and I'm like well dang is that a compliment or is that like a I don't know that's like a backhanded compliment I'm a pretty good rapper for a girl like huh like why do I have to like only girl rappers can get to here and then men rappers up here but I'm the best that I can get as a girl you know what I mean no baby your girl was the hottest female rapper out of Orlando I don't care if I was a female a cow whatever I was the hottest so I got up in that studio and I I do my take. The reason I am first on this verse is because I was the only one that had my verse together. They were in the studio writing. Writing? Who goes to the studio to write? Man, you done dropped your money. You done dropped bank. No, baby, we ready to record. Let's record. So I'm the only one to drop my verse. My verse was hot. So I dropped my verse and then I'm done and they like who next who next who next nobody was ready they still up there writing so in the song it was each person that had their verse ready was the next in line next in line and they were trying to tell me come ready oh no we ain't gonna we ain't gonna spare you we ain't gonna but baby I came in there I delivered and that was it so we are gonna listen to my song I searched through this thing I searched YouTube guys this thing let me show you there it is 
Now, as you see, this song is 12 years old. It took me a minute to find it, too, because I couldn't remember how to spell nobody's name. All right, and then one thing you need to know about me, I didn't like to curse in my music, so I kind of blank it out or whatever. Um, this one, they wanted to kind of do some stuff I wasn't really, you know, that wasn't my type. It was on some violence type stuff. So I changed it into my own thing. Okay, here we go. The name of the song is by the hit makers featuring Cadillac. Yes. Boy Wonder, Trace, and RDG. Just walked up in the club. So here we go. Let's play it. Who is my jam? Oh, hold on. Yeah, cheer. You on the grind or get left behind. His your girl can't laugh. Yeah. I just walked up in this club and they stay hating. Got it bad and they just be faking. You best not test me, no, no, cause my homies in the back. And they ain't playing no games, they got them things caught back. In the you straight hating. And they just be faking. Yes, here it comes. Step up in the place, I can feel the hate. Tensions in the air, as they stop and stare, I met my way through the crowd. They on me up and down. Ask me, do I care? Care? This is how I feel. If you feel it, froggy jump. You want it, you can leave. Jump stupid if you want. I got my homies backing me. Yeah. Feel this woman's wrath once you push me to the point. Hey, what you mean, mug it folk? Am I supposed to be scared? You've been at me from the dope. In my heart, you don't put fear. I only fear the utmost. That's God and no one else. So your BS, I'm not buying. Sell that sh to someone else. Please don't make me pull your card while you sitting there acting hard. I remember you from years ago when you ain't had no heart. But you still ain't got no heart. It's just your friends are gas. Yep, they got you jumping like a pimple when you're really just a pup. You're just a pup. Yeah. That's not test me, no, no, cause my homies in the back. They ain't playing no games, they got them things got back. Man, they straight hating, cause I'm body body, and they just be faking. Nothing, man. It ain't my fault, cause it's your own fault. Like you wanna do something. Hey. <laughs> wow, on my list. I'ma do me. You gonna fall back home, man. Hey. Not now. See, I just stepped up in this club, man. They stay hey me. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> you best not test me, no, no. Come on, homies in the back. And they ain't playing no games. They got them things got that. I have walked up in the club, man. They straight hate me. Cause I'm body body. And they just be faking. You best not test me, no, no. Come on, homies in the back. Hey. You already know. Uh uh. Let's go. Stop running, homie. You are me because I'm here outside. You, Juju, stop. They listening to it. Seeing no action. Let the ghouls get you. Feed you to them alligators. That's what you get, bruh. <laughs> Juju, stop. What you get, bro? This ain't Spain. I ain't get that part. <laughs> hey, I just walked up in the club, man. They straight hate Cause I'm bad at bad at and they just be faking. You best not test me, no, no. Cause my homies in the back. They ain't playing no game. They got them got bad. Man, they straight hate And they just be faking. Hey, this RDG. Hey,
seen Look to my left, I look to my right Cause I shine so bright Hey, down the ride Hit the flow Cause I'ma just have to let it go Now who had the hottest verse? Yo girl, yo girl can't let Cause your homies in the bed Let's rewind that. We gotta rewind that, y'all. Let's hear this drop one more time. Let's hear your girl Cadillac on the track. Here we go. Bring that back. Get that golden voice. Let's go. Man, they straight hate me, cause I'm bad at bad at and it just be fake. Listen, listen, y'all. Step up in the place, I can feel the hate. Tensions in the air, as they stop and say I'm in my way through the crowd. They on me up and down. Ask me, do I care? Care? This is how I feel. If you feel it, probably jump. You wanna, you can leave. Jump, stupid. If you want, I got my homies backing me. Choose my battles while it just can't swan and mean I won't. You gon' feel this woman's grab once you push me to the point. Hey, what you mean, mugging foe? Am I supposed to be scared? You been at me from the dope. In my heart, you don't put fear. I only fear the utmost. There's got it, no one else. So your BS, I'm not buying. Said that to someone else. Please don't make me pull your car while you sitting there at the heart. I remember you from years ago when you ain't had no heart. When you still ain't got no heart, it's just your friends to gas you up. They got you jumping like a pimple when you're really just a pop. You just a pop.